Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be looking at some Korean products that I promised to show you guys in my last video. These products were sent to me by Style Korean. They're a website that carries and sells a lot of Korean products on their website and they were kind enough to choose me to review their products for them. So if you're interested in seeing this video, then keep on watching. South Korean sent me a variety of products from skincare to makeup. Um, some of these I love and some of these are just okay in quality. So I'll just go one by one and talk to you guys about them. So the first product is this mist serum right here. This is rose water and this is a hydrating water mist that you could spray on your face. You can also use it as a toner after you wash your face, which I do. And let me tell you guys, this product is amazing. I've been using this every day since I've gotten it. Um, two times every day day once in the morning and once at night and my skin has literally changed this have definitely helped clear my face and also smoothed and softened my face after using this on my face I like to use the vitamin C oil which is this product right here this is also a Korean product these two go really well together after I spray my face with this I like to put like drops of vitamin C onto my face you guys every morning when I wake up my face just feels so soft and smooth these two literally are the best combo. These things have cleared up my face. Um, I do have a few blemishes on my face and the vitamin C have definitely helped um, just clear my face. I know this is not from South Korean, but I like to use these two together and they're just amazing together. One thing I really like about the serum mist is that you can use it on all type of skin. Um, oily people can use this as well. It doesn't put oily in the face once you spray um, and dry people especially can also use this. When you spray it on, it may feel a little bit sticky, but once it kind of settles into to your skin um, you know the stickiness kind of goes away so this I absolutely love I you guys can see it's like halfway already this is a product I will probably purchase on their website and this is one of my favorites from uh, the products that they have sent me so next product is this artless glow base and this is from Hamish I believe all of the products that they sent me is from the brand Hamish I hope I'm pronouncing it right this brand I would say the products are quite amazing this like I said is a glow base this you can use it alone which they you know recommend and it's basically what it's for but I like to use it under my foundation because it has such a high SPF 50 the foundation I have on right now is the LA girl um, matte foundation it's called pro matte foundation and that one is a literally a matte foundation but because I did put this under the foundation my face doesn't look as matte as as it should be which you know I don't like matte at all so whenever I use a matte foundation I just like to use you know something like this to put under my face for today don't have any primer on I usually need primer because there's like a few pores around my nose that if you zoom up really close you can see this actually works as a primer and a glow base and also a hydrating base as well for your foundation so this is kind of like a all-in-one type of face you know just face base all right you guys next product is this bubby bubby lip and this i guess this is by unpa which is a different brand this is supposedly a lip scrub i don't know how i feel about it to me scrubs usually are kind of grainy this is more like a serum and it kind of dries up into patches i will say this is more of a cleanser it shouldn't be listed as a scrub because um this just basically just cleanses your lip from you know i guess dirty bacteria or things like that so bubby bubby lip is a bubble type lip scrub it gives a solution to remove lip makeup dirt impurities and dead skin without irritating the skin one thing yes it doesn't irritate the skin it feels really nice on the skin but it's not greeny like i said so it's more of a lip cleanser i've only used this product twice and i will say that out of all these products this is probably the one that i'm just not really into lip scrubs are really nice i don't think this is the best product ever um i think you can find you know i guess better lip products out there this is I mean, it's a pretty good lip cleanser. The next product I'm going to talk about is this eyeshadow palette by Hemish. And looking at the packaging, I mean, I was kind of disappointed. It literally looks like a kid palette. Um, I don't know. I just was really disappointed in the packaging. But, you know, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to give this a try. So there is a little mirror inside. And there are two, four, six, eight, eight shades with a... Um, you know eyeshadow brush right here and just looking at it it literally looks like a product from Maybelline or L'Oreal like a drugstore brand I would compare this palette's quality to any American drugstore brand but a really good shadow from an 
American drugstore, such as like Maybelline. I know that Maybelline and Wet n Wild have some pretty good eyeshadow palettes, and this I would just say is comparable to any of that. Out of all of these shades, I'm really, really happy with these two shimmer shades right here. They're so nice on the eyes. They really, really pop out, and they're just very pigmented as well. I feel like these you could use as a highlighter on your cheekbone. Now, one reason why I really like this palette is because it's a really nice spring palette. I don't have any of these colors in any of the color palettes that I have own, so I think this is actually a really good shadow palette for me. Okay. Alright, you guys, so we're down to the last product, and this is my favorite product out of all the products that they have sent me, and this is the Airy Ink Velvet Lip Paint. I think that's what it's considered. So this color is I guess number 10. This is a dry rose brown and looking at the packaging it seems like a very dark color but on the lips it's actually a very very nice soft I would say pink if you guys don't like anything harsh like I know like a lot of lip products um, in America they are very like just very intense on the lips but if you're looking for something very soft, something very subtle, something almost like lipstick like but stays on for a while you know, this product is a very, very good product to use. Liquid matte lips are very, very popular in America right now. And a lot of people just, you know, it's been a really big craze lately. And I don't know why. For me, I've just never been into that matte lip, like, intenseness of that crazy, you know, harsh line around the lip. I just don't feel like that really matches my makeup style. And because of that, I've been, you know, into lipsticks and lip liners lately. But girls, once I've gotten this, this literally has saved my life. Um, it doesn't give you the harshness of a lip liner or the matte lipsticks at all. Um, this is a very nice, subtle, you know, lip paint that you can use literally every day. I have the dry rose brown, like I've mentioned, and I'm just really, really happy with this. Um, I would personally just purchase more of these just because they're just really amazing uh, lip colors. They look very natural. I think in Korea, they may use this for that gradient lip that have been really popular in Korea lately but for me I just like to put this on the inner like inner parts of my lips and then just spread them with my fingers um, all over my lip and it just gives it a really soft natural look. Out of all the products you've seen in the video I would say the number one product that you should probably try is this Airy Ink Velvet Lip Paint just because it's a really amazing product and it is kind of different from American products. And so you guys this concludes the end of the video. I've shown one, two, three, four, five, five products in this video from Style Korean. If you're interested in these products I'll leave links in the description box so you guys can just click them right away and go to their website um, all of these products were really amazing I'm glad Style Korean gave me the opportunity to review these products for you guys and thank you guys so much for watching um, if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one bye